Hello guys, welcome to iDigital Concepts channel and today I will be showing you how to create a calendar using Corridor. A lot of people are into creation of materials, of publications, of books, of diaries and so many do not know that you actually have a simple tool at your disposal which could be used to create a calendar without using the internet I want to tell you today that if you are a graphic designer and you happen to use Corridor you can actually create a calendar and this video is gonna show you the exact way to create a calendar using Corridor I am not just going to be creating a calendar, you would also be able to customize the calendar to add anything you want to add to it to make it look however you like it to look. And also the calendar you are going to be adding or you are going to be creating is going to be for any year of your choice. You will not be limited by the year of calendar you are to create. So if you happen to have made a research on how to use online calendars and you have this particular software which is Corridor with you, your search is over. You can actually create any calendar to your taste. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to create a calendar using Corridor. So the first thing for you to do is to open up Corridor and I've already opened my own Corridor. The next thing is to create a workspace. How do you create a workspace? I have already created a workspace but let me show you exactly how I did it. You come to file then you click on name and after that you're gonna select the specifics you want for the workspace and if you are planning to print your calendar out to a paper or to a material or a magazine what you do is to come to this place primary color mode you click on it and you change it to CMYK because this is the color template that is suitable for printed documents and articles but if you are going to make it a digital product I want to suggest that you leave it like this RGB because this is the color that is suited for digital product then the workspace we are creating we are going to customize it so just put for example this is year 2021 so let me create a 2022 calendar 2022 presets destination okay just leave this one as it is right now then the size of the space you want to create I want to leave it as a4 but for those who normally create digital products for um, online self-publishing platforms like Amazon, if you have a custom size in mind, let's say you want to use 6 by 9 so you come here, you put 6 and you come here, which is the height, you press 9. And after doing that, you are going to click on Okay, so your workspace is going to be created for you using the custom dimension that you have repeated. You can see our dimension. So this is the width size, which is 16 inches, and this is the height size, which is 9 inches. Then the next thing for you to do is to go and select the tool for calendar creation. Now, if you look at your top ribbon, I want to assure you that you're not going to see any option that you see. That to suggest to you that you should actually insert calendar so what are you gonna do just come to tools here and then come to macros then click on run macro all right so when you click on run macro then macro name don't worry about this one come to macros in VBA project so there is a drop down icon here just click and then you're gonna select the 
second option on the list or if your own is not on the second option on the list just look for calendar wizard and then click on it the next thing for you to do is to click on run and that is gonna pop up a box for you to do your customization so as you can see what is on our screen right now we have a preview of a month calendar which is january we are going to create a 2022 calendar so you come to year here and you move it to 2022 we now have a 2022 calendar space created for us so the next thing you want to do is to select the months that you actually wish to appear on your calendar just going to go ahead and select other months select february march april may june july august september october november and december and um you're going to select the calendar language now the essence of this is that it will actually imports the um the public holidays and the events in the particular year you are trying to create for the nations using or speaking the primary language that you're selecting here for example if i choose english for canada what is going to happen is that this calendar is going to be showing me the public holidays is going to be indicating the public holidays for the year 2022 that they do observe in canada and likewise if i choose danish for example i'm just i'm not going to select danish i'm just going to show you what is going to happen you can see if you notice this dialogue box this 2nd of january was not an holiday when we were on when we selected Canada, right, you can see. But as soon as we selected Danish, you can see that the holiday day changed. It means that each country have their own public holidays and some might actually differ from another. So what I'm just going to do is to select a language that is applicable to my own locality. So I'm just gonna select um let's say uk english all right and then you move to the next customization box which is week starts on as you can see here week will start on sunday so if i come here and i select monday our week is gonna start on monday some people actually prefer having a calendar that starts with Monday rather than Sunday. And it's very much okay. If you go to some websites, their week starts on Monday, which is actually okay. I don't have any issue with that. So the next thing to do is to go to the layout section and then select the kind of layout you want. This feature is rich in different kinds of layout so if you have been wondering that we want to create a 2022 calendar and everything all i have here showing is january calendar do not bother this is where you get to customize that but before then i would like to expand this preview space so that you can see what is going on very well so i've clicked on expand and after clicking on expand what happened was that the little preview that was initially here was enlarged let me do it again for you to see you see just click on expand and you get the calendar preview is gonna be bigger all right so let us move on just come to the drop down tool here and then begin to select different layouts so if you select large okay large is already showing if you select this month large plus too small it is going to change it so this is a large month plus too small once we have december and we have february showing up here but the one the particular one i'm going to use is this one 
we have here 12 small 3 by 4 just click on it and it is going to show a complete year calendar or you can use it if you don't actually like this you can go ahead and select other ones but quickly let me show you something again there are many calendars that people do and in between they add pictures and you might have wondered how on earth do they get to do that you actually don't need to stress yourself much we have a layout that is suitable for that purpose just come here and then you see the layout here you can see these layers below we have here image plus 12 small left here image plus 12 small top just go ahead and select anyone you like so let me just choose this one first click on it and you can see we have the calendars at the left hand side then you have the space or image on the right hand side let us see another one we have a big space or image and we have a small space showing our calendar since i'm not intending to use this particular layout i'm just gonna go back and select the one i like so i'm choosing three by four then the next thing to do i selected as a scene and this is what happened let's choose another one okay move to the left hand side and then scroll down i'm scrolling down i'm scrolling down okay scrolling down just don't mind me i have a list of fonts and then okay let's try this belinda script click on okay you can see this one so no i'm not gonna use this so let's choose another one okay i'm gonna use that one the particular one I have in mind is, let me look for it, Helvetica. Yeah, I have my Helvetica. So I'm going to choose Helvetica, rounded. Then the font style, bold, oblique, bold. Let me just use bold and then change this one to size 9. Okay, you can see a sample here. Then click on, okay, if you like to underline your Title. It is totally up to you, so I'm not going to underline. If you want to create a background for your title box, you can just come here and then select the color you want to put there. Then click on OK. You can see. But as you can see, this particular color does not work well for my title. So what I'm just going to do is to turn this up to color black and then change the color of this guy here to a bright color you can see now that's that has been properly customized and then you can choose to show the name of the year if you click on this checkbox here it is going to display the year 2023 so i think i like it this way just come to your header where is your header? Here is your header. The header is the section that is displaying the days of the month, right? So for our header, just let us leave the background as white. Don't punish with that. Then don't temper with that. Then select our maroon color again. Okay. And then position top left bottom right okay the header has been moved to the bottom right but i don't like it this way so let me return it to top left then style if you want the style of the days in the week to so be a short form or a full word this is where you get to customize it let us just see if you click on full word it's going to display the full names of the days so i don't want that it is going to increase the size of my calendar i don't want to do that you can either choose the short form or you choose one letter so i'm going to leave it as 
work later and you can decide to change the background here again by clicking on back and then selecting any color of your choice but i'm just going to leave it the way it is right now okay. if you choose to highlight a particular day just come to this place and then check this box highlight sundays okay. choose to uncheck it then let us move on to the body of the calendar all right so click body then we have orientation you can choose any orientation you like if you select vertical it is going to rearrange it okay if you select horizontal i think i'm very much cool with horizontal i like it the way it is so fonts you can decide to change the font also and um, for the body fonts let us choose something like um, this let's just choose something different okay you used helvetica the other time let me use georgia this time around okay so this is georgia and then the color let us check the color a little bit also so we choose this particular color here then click on okay but then let's leave the background the way it is okay dividers yes i like to insert a divider we have vertical divider and we have horizontal divider just check the box here to show the divider and also check the box there to show the horizontal divider i think i like it this way so i'm going to use divider certainly text alignment i like it to be in the center okay so center alignment is okay for me and then since we have used the better let me try and change the color here to something like ash color so i'm just going to change this a little bit okay i think the color is okay select okay you can see it is there already all right so and um after you might have finished doing your customization What you do is to check how it's going to. So after you might have finished doing your customization, you can just come back here to see how the whole thing is going to do. Maybe it is going to be cool or not. So you click on page layout. As you can see here, it is appearing decent at least to me. Now you may want to change the way this thing is looking here a little bit you can come to margin and then adjust the sizes here and uh, in case you want to use another metric apart from inches you can just come here we have three metrics there we have the millimeter and we have the font so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now if this box is not checked yet make sure you check this box and the essence of that is that it is going to use the particular size of the workspace we initially created remember we created a workspace and we gave it these properties so it is going to our calendar is going to use the properties we selected for this particular workspace so i'm just gonna leave it here and in case you want to use another one just uncheck and change your workspace size here so let me just check it and then click on generate so that is the end of customization of our calendar click on generate and the calendar is going to load up for you on your workspace so let us just wait for it to generate our calendar and as you can see we have a pop-up here telling us that our calendar has been successfully generated finished generating the calendar so you click on ok and um, you close your calendar wizard okay and as you can see here our calendar has been successfully created let me zoom in a little bit for you to see what is showing on the screen this is looking beautiful all right isn't it if it is looking good just go ahead and 
drop your comments let me know your opinion about this calendar that you just created and you can just tweak your settings and apply anything you want to apply i think i like this calendar so 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 much and then the next thing you can do is to tweak your background a little bit so i'm just gonna do that and show you how to do it i have successfully created a rectangle over this my workspace and then what color do i want to use for background let me use an orange color so select orange you can see that this our background color is covering the calendar we initially created so i'm just gonna right click and then select order back of layer so you can see it is looking great so what you do is to put the title 2022 calendar okay then move it to this place and uh, probably resize that one let me change the case to uppercase come to text change case and then uppercase select okay and then bold 24 i would like to use 20 okay 20 is not there let me just enter 20. click on enter and then centralize this guy so we have successfully moved the title to the center and then should we add an outline color let me try it so just zoom out and then remove the outline color for this background so i'm just going to right click on this x so it is going to remove the black edges and this is looking so so great and then the last thing i'm going to do is to export this and save the calendar as pdf so after all just click on ctrl a it is going to select all items on the page so Okay, it has selected all items just come to the file you click on publish to pdf and after that the, a box is gonna pop up okay so you rename it 2022 calendar all right so you select the location you want to save it pdf presets okay settings okay we have two issues here right now let us see what the issues are document contains small fonts nothing to worry about page one contains objects that fall outside the box okay you must ensure that your elements or objects fall within the areas of the working space of the page document and then click on okay click on save that is it so it is going to save our calendar so guys let me show you how our calendar looks on a pdf documents okay all right guys here is our calendar in pdf formats it has been successfully opened this is a beautiful calendar so just go ahead and create your own calendar and if you're having any difficulty let me know in the comment section below if you like this video or you have gained something new kindly hit on the subscribe button on this channel and do not forget to turn on the notification so that you will receive updates as soon as i drop a new video please guys like this video so that youtube will recommend it to more people till the next time i come your way i remain my humble self don't worry Thank you very much. I will see you in another tutorial. Bye.